गाइस वेलकम टू द डायर एजुकेशन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑफ एंड्राइड सीको लाइट डेटा बेस इन दिस सेशन वी विल क्रिएट द कोडिंग फॉर द इंसर्टिंग द डाटा इन टू द डेटा बेस एंड लास्ट इन द लास्ट सेशन वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एंड इन व्हिच वी टेक थ्री एरे टेक्स्ट एंड वन बटन वाज देयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल क्रिएट इन द method for inserting the data uh, in the database for for this thing first of all we need to create and understand uh, the method so first of all we need a sqlite database and this uh, will be a writable database and uh, for this thing we will take a, a method of insert data in which we will take three parameters uh, string name string surname and string marks after that we will create uh, uh, the method in which these parameters were assigned to the uh, columns for this thing first of all create a method public white insert data and we will take three parameters uh, like first name uh, yeah let's say f name uh, string surname and string marks in this method the first line the line which we will use here is equal i database db we will copy this thing and the same will write down in the this method the basic purpose of this line was that we are inserting the data into the database that's why we are writing this line in the next line we are using content values and create a new object of the content values and then put the content values like this content values dot put and column 2 and name so content values and content values is equal to new content values and content value dot put and use column c o m u m n c o m u m n okay column column q and it will be assigned with f name content value dot put column 3 surname content value dot put and uh, column Four marks. Okay. Try to make the same method like this. If the you use the small letter, then use every small letter. Now after that, the next step is in writing a query, a long result like this. and db dot insert table name null and content values this will insert the data into the database so long result is equal to db dot insert and 
first name is the table name next is null and the content values now the question will arise that if data was inserted into the database then this information was shown that the data is successfully inserted or not for this thing we will get a boolean result from this for i converted it this function into the boolean so it will take some boolean result that result will be stored in this value like long result if it will successful if result is equal equal to like this as we uh, in our presentation equal to one minus one it will show that the data was not inserted successfully so we will write this code in here if result is equal equal to minus one then it will return false otherwise that it will return as the true value So this is the completion of the insert data but you can see that the color of this function is dim since we did not use this function it anywhere so first of all what we will do we will go to the main activity and create the three instances of our edit text edit text instances uh, like uh, uh, name text surname text marks text like this and uh, for this thing uh, you will need alt enter so the class will be imported automatically like this and one more instance of needed and that was button and uh, insert button for this thing we will just once again alt enter and the class will be imported automatically <coughs> now we will create the instances of the instances of the text box as given in our presentation the next step is to create the instances of this uh, uh, function like this you can see that so I am creating the same instances for the application and that was name text is equal to edit text custom find view by id r dot id dot you can see the edit text name and the next one is surname text casting edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text surname and the last one marks text edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text <coughs> marks after creating uh, this thing we will create a method for the button to insert and call the uh, data uh, uh, of uh, insert data the and this function will be called by when the button was pressed for this thing let's see our presentation and we will create a public wide add data function and in this thing uh, when we click the function just go for it public wide add data function okay um, we are not creating the button instances was not created. <coughs> First of all, we will create the button instances. Okay, insert button instance of button. Find view by id r dot id dot button insert report. Okay. Now in this method uh, we will go and use the function 
insert button dot set on click listener new on click listener and you will see the all coding will implemented automatically okay the next step is to insert a boolean result is inserted and uh, we will just call the function mydb and use dot insert data and pass the three values in it for this thing we use a variable boolean is inserted is equal to <coughs> mydb we call the mydb instance and in this method insert data and uh, first of all we will uh, move the name text dot get text dot to string next one is surname text dot get text dot to string and the next one is the marks text dot get text dot to string now now we will toast a message that the data was inserted successfully for this thing we will check if is inserted is equal equal to true uh, we will toast a message toast uh, data inserted into the database successfully else we will use the message data was not inserted to the database And now we will add this function into this our application add data. Remember you will not forget to insert this into the main application. After that you will have implemented add data and this will be the end of our today's program. Finally run this program and check it out. Thank you very much and Allah.